So here's one more little bonus piece um, about flexing and pointing your feet and activating your legs in general um, in inversions. Now, I'm gonna be using my feet up only because I'm not supposed to be doing headstands anymore because of compressed vertebra in my neck. But you could be doing this in a headstand, you could be doing this in forearm stand or in handstand if that's something that you can practice away from the wall. Actually, you could do it near the wall too, just so you won't have as much range of motion with some of the things I'm gonna do with the legs. So. Coming in, first, always make sure you have a stable base and make sure you have a stable, clear area in case you do tip over because I think you're more likely to do some, you know, scary damage if you fall onto something or someone. So, again, this is my feet up. I love my feet up. And if you don't have something like this, I mean, you could be doing a regular headstand. You can also do this with blocks under your shoulders. It makes me slightly nervous, but you would do it near the wall. Um, but it does the same type of thing, not having your head on the ground. So, coming in, I'm taking the kind of traditional tripod hand variation, and then using the belly, starting to pipe out to the feet. Now, I'll notice here, like if I flex my feet, it still feels strong, but specifically in inversions and arm balances, pointing your feet seems to be ideal. Now, bringing the legs straight up towards the sky, I'm trying to actively zip my legs together, but as I mentioned in the last video, for me to actually bring my toes together, I'm sickling my ankles unless I super, super, super press them. Now you might play once you're upside down with flexing your feet, and does that actually make you feel more steady? What you don't wanna do is just have soft legs, because here I'm just kinda of hanging out and it's com completely coincidence I can balance. You'll notice, to zip up your legs, you have to activate your belly, you have to activate your glute, Everything is much stronger. Now to go towards the straddle, you can stay with the pointed feet. To start to rotate towards the ground, though, you're probably going to need to flex. And then as you start to rotate up, you'll see how the legs internally rotate to come all the way up. Because if you go here, you won't go any closer to the ground until you start to rotate the legs. So again, rotating and then drawing back up. Now, same thing if you want to try to split. You can flex your feet, which again, you might feel more connected. But for me, pointing is going to help me balance it all out. And then you can kind of walk it out. And I'm not trying to sell you on just flexing or just pointing in any particular pose. Because depending on you, depending on the day, oh, sorry, <laughs> just like anything else in yoga, you might notice on a particular occasion something feels better for you on that day than the other.